Hey, what's up? We're going to talk really quick about something that is probably the most confusing and least understood thing in life insurance. And I come across this all the time and I have to explain this to clients every day. So hopefully this will help you make sense. When you apply for life insurance, there are two different ways you can apply. One is medical and one is non-medical. Neither one is the right way. It just, again, like everything in life insurance, it depends on your circumstances. And this is why it's so important to talk to somebody first. When you see an advertisement for a life insurance policy and they might throw out $500,000 and it's you know 25 bucks a month and it's phenomenal and it makes it look great and you wanna apply because you want that much coverage for that least, that small amount of cost. If you look at the fine print, those are always fully underwritten, which means full medical. That means they send a nurse out or uh, an assistant to draw blood, take urine samples, and do all of the, you know, the height, weight, all the vitals. And they take all that data back to their office. And they go through that for several weeks. Then they order the APS reports, which is the attending physician statement from your doctor. And they take all of your health history and they look at everything. They look at your family history, your parents and your siblings. They look at all of your your blood work, your cholesterol levels, your white blood cell count, on and on, anything that's inside of your blood report and any vitals or numbers that they can pull. They get everything and they make a very educated decision based on your health. Now that can work for or against you, obviously. If they find a really good picture of health, they can give you great rates. And that's usually what you see if it's advertised from a life insurance company, these phenomenal rates. If you look in the fine print, it's preferred plus. That's the level you have to get, which most of us really don't qualify for. Um, in most cases, when you go fully underwritten, it's either going to get declined or rated. Rated means it becomes back more expensive than we thought because they found some things in your, in your health. Now, you might feel healthy. You might, might not be on any medications at all. You might have the doctor telling you, you're doing great. Keep up what you're doing. Exercise every day. All kinds of things. But an underwriter looks at your health in a deeper level and from a slightly different perspective than most. And when you go fully underwritten on a medical application, they have access to all of that data and usually it comes back to hurt you. Now, a non-medical application is very simple. It's called simplified issue because it takes just a few days to process instead of several weeks. Um, they come back with a decision. It's either yes or no on the pricing. And so if you get a quote and it's approved, it's going to be that exact price. On a medical application, they have to guess on the price until after the blood work is done. Nobody knows what your price is going to be. The advertisement might make it sound good or the agent might make it sound good. But if you're getting blood work done, it's anybody's guess how much that's going to cost until after the blood work comes back. So keep that in mind. But on a non-medical application, they're going to look at just a few things. Instead of taking all the blood work, they're going to look at your prescription history because they pull a milliman report, which is an RX report of all your prescriptions. And they're going to pull a, a, a report on your driving record to make sure you don't have any DUIs or an excessive number of speeding tickets. And then they're going to look at your... Um, they'll look at your application, all the questions and things that you put on the application itself. Um and that's and then the um, the MIB report, which is a medical information bureau. The MIB, you can go to MIB.com and you can get your own report anytime you want. But the MIB is a history of all your life insurance applications. So let's say that you apply medically to get a policy and you get declined or rated. Well, all that report goes on to the MIB. So the next time, anytime in the next seven or eight years, that MIB reports in place, the carriers are going to have access to all that data. And so it can come back to really hurt you and, and diminish your odds of getting approval. So here's what I recommend. If you have a policy in place, a good backup plan, get a non-medical policy first. And if you want to venture out down the road and try and go for the fully underwritten product, which is a lot harder to get, potentially improve your rates. You can always replace the existing coverage, but you can never go back. And if you do it out of order, try and remove those MIB hits it's kind of like carrying around a foreclosure on your record when you're trying to get a loan with good rates. That's the first thing they're going to do is look at those, those uh, records. 
So make sure that you're talking to somebody that's educating you on all this stuff before you jump in and say, yeah, go ahead and uh, shoot me in the veins and, and get my blood and, and take my urine sample and all that stuff. Before you go that far, please talk to somebody that's educating you because if you do it out of order, it can really hurt your chances of getting approved. That's part of what I do when I do an assessment with a client is under, help them understand the risk that they're taking and help minimize those risks by providing good education so they don't do things out of order and wish they hadn't. Thank you for listening. And I hope this really clears it up. If you have more questions about moving forward with a medical versus a non-medical application, you know how to find me. Just hit me up. I'll be happy to explain it in more detail. Have an awesome day. I'll see you around.